Well, hello guys, how y'all doing? Uh, this is uh, Charles Richard and uh, we're back. And uh, today I have a very, very interesting uh, video for you. Uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, being able to uh, set up a uh, camera. In my particular case, I'm gonna be showing what I do to my X-T4, my Fujifilm X-T4. But this goes for any camera, whether it's Sony, Canon, Nikon, it is about setting it up for a very quick run and gun, a very comfortable uh, run and gun. But uh, first, uh, let me have a sip of my coffee. I'm actually drinking uh, an instant coffee and I'll tell you about it in a, in a second. Mm. Now, I am a very, very avid uh, coffee drinker, uh, but uh, I gotta tell you uh, one thing. Uh, sometimes, you know, we are like sort of like in a run and gun and uh, you wanna be able to drink something like really quick. And uh, what I have found that I love a lot is this uh, particular coffee is called the uh, Juan Valdez. It is the Juan Valdez coffee. It's like uh, four bucks and it's in a, a small uh, container, glass container is a, a 3.5 ounce container. And uh, let me tell you, I tell you, I tell you one thing about this coffee. The richness of this coffee is incredible. All right. And specifically what I love doing with this coffee is I like to take one teaspoon of this coffee and I like mixing it with a uh, little uh, instant uh, uh, hot chocolate uh, envelope uh, and uh, no sugar because the uh, cho hot chocolate comes with uh, sugar, as you well know. And uh, I get me a uh, uh it will make me a very instant and very delicious uh mocha and uh oh my god it's uh it's it's, it's great when you're in the running gun but uh, anyways let's get back to um to what we're talking about we're gonna be talking about um uh, uh this puppy here all right this is the fujifilm xc4 but again this goes for any camera now when you're doing video there's certain things that you want to be able to uh to have the ability to do with your camera. And uh, I do want to apologize if you see uh, it going, um, my, my lights are going on and uh, so, sort of like ch changing in brightness. It is not the uh, camera. It is uh, strictly that I am filming inside my RV and I am directly above the sun and the sun, as soon as a cloud goes over it, it, it drops the uh um, the light, as you can see, all right? And once the sun comes back out, you know, uh, it lights up again. Uh, so anyways, let's get back to this, right? So when you're doing a running gun, when you're doing a film, you want to be able to, to rig up your camera, not overly rig it, but at the same time, rig it to where it is functional. At least that's how I uh, do my rigs. Before I used to rig my cameras where I had all kinds of cages and all kinds of things on the camera. And that was great. That was really great when you wanted a bigger rig and you wanted to uh, add a lot of stuff. But sometimes a lot of these things like the follow focuses and all that stuff and the mat boxes, all that stuff that, you know, that makes the camera look like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not really necessary, all right? It's not really necessary because the mobility that you have while you're shooting your film is more important than all the stuff that you actually put on the camera <clears throat> because your movement as a camera person, you know, as a camera uh, guy, uh, you know, is... Um, uh, gives you uh, more flexibility to be able to do closer shots, to be able to do low shots, uh, you know, and to be able to uh, do much more with the camera, which I think, you know, for um, my personal uh, experiences, it's more useful than just rigging up a big rig where you have to have all these other things. No, 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 you don't need that, okay? You don't need that. If you have a camera that has a decent IBIS like this uh, X-T4 does, uh, you know, and you have a lens that will, will keep you, you know, at a decent focus like this camera does, okay? Now, in the Fujifilm that, you know, in the Fujifilm line, all the lenses are not 
good video lenses uh, know this all right so and and that goes for any camera that goes for whether it doesn't matter if it's a sony camera doesn't matter if it's a canon camera every single brand has lenses that are really good for video and that are really good for photo right and so sometimes the the lenses that are really good for photo and this is where a lot of guys make a huge error you know think that oh this is a really good lens for photo and when you put it when you start doing video you get all kinds of artifacts and all kinds of different and crazy uh you know uh um uncleanliness right in your video production and it is due because the lens is really not a video lens now i'm not going to talk about video lenses okay what i'm going to talk about is rigging this camera up so there's a couple of things that i look at a camera the first thing that i want to be able to do with a unit like this a camera like this is i want to make sure that i'm able to to if i want to to film something that is slow, I want to be able to grab the camera somehow, right, to where I can film low. So the most obvious thing that everybody uses is putting a top handle. But not every top handle is a good top handle. And I'm going to explain this uh, to you and, and, and the whys behind it. I use small rig. All right, small rig has always been a favorite of mine because it gives you the most capabilities and the most flexibility of any other uh, product when you start building out your camera gear. And on this particular uh, um, uh, gear, this particular top handle that I use is I use a top handle that is mounted on my hot shoe. Now, everybody, I know everybody's going to say, oh, but that is the most dumbest thing to do to mount something on a hot shoe. Well, it is if you're going to put a lot of weight on it. All right. But it is not if the only thing that you're using is something like this and something that is very minimal in weight all right because you're not going to be using it to actually hold that what you're going to be using this top handle is to gra grab your camera to be able to get those low shots that you want all right and in order to get those low shots you need a top handle all right so now with this top handle let me uh, kind of uh, go a little bit, okay, uh, about this top handle uh, so that you have an idea of uh, what I am talking about. This top handle, what I like about this top handle is, number one, it's, this top handle is about $60, bucks, $70, all right? But it has a lot of flexibilities. Uh, number one, you can put rods. As you can see right there, you can put rods through here and you can mount a lot more stuff on the rods, which uh, gives you a flexibility, you know, uh, a one more stuff that you can do with it. It has one, two, and three cold shoes now i added an additional small rig cold shoe on the side of it and i will explain to you the why all right uh, that i added that cold shoe uh, in a couple of seconds uh so this is the uh my favorite uh setup for, to be able to uh set up uh the uh um uh, for, 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 for a top handle. They have a lot of other top handles and you can pick your own, but I think that this has the most flexibility and uh, it comes with an Allen wrench, uh, you know, and uh, the Allen wrench is, is used to uh, adjust it, to uh, uh, tighten it and uh, to all that stuff. Now, when I mount my um, hot, my, excuse me, my top handle, I like to mount it backwards and i'm going to show you the whys behind it okay uh, let me put this here okay the if you look at the camera right if i mount my my top handle any top handle if i mounted it this way you can see how it extends towards the back all right extending towards the back all right doesn't allow me if i want to use my uh, evf all right, to be able to, because sometimes, you know, the sun is very bright and you want to use your AVF, you're not going to be able to do that because it's going to hit your forehead up here. So what I do 
is I mount it backwards, okay? And you can see there is a big difference. Now, on top of that, there's a, an additional a reason why I mount it backwards. If I mount it forwards, okay, I only have a hot shoe mounting here, all right? That's the only place that I can mount it, all right? And then I have my uh, rods that I can mount here, right, to be able to add anything in the front. If I mount it the opposite way, right, I'm actually also balancing the camera a lot better because if I want to mount a monitor, my monitor, I can mount here in front, all right, or I can mount it on the top. Always mount your monitor on this side here because it's going to give you much more stability instead of having a, a, a huge, overly tall uh, monitor and and we'll sort of uh, uh, explain that uh, a little bit more uh, as we uh, move along right uh, so let me get a couple of uh, things so I can show you so I can adjust a couple of things um, oh let me get this um, if I can get it really quick no that's not it yes, with my luck it's probably always going to be the last thing that I get in my bag yeah that's the last thing <laughs> All right, it just, just happens to be that way. Uh, all right. Uh, and when you want to get it, it always gets stuck. All right, so these are my Allen wrenches. I, I do recommend that you get a uh, uh, an Allen wrench tool, all right, uh, which I have not gotten one. I don't even know why, all right? Uh, I just um, have not gotten one, all right? So anyways... Um, these Allen wrenches uh, do come in uh, very handy to do a lot of things, right? So uh, with that said, uh, this particular that you see here, all right, uh, this is how you mount your uh, your uh, hot shoes or anything that you want on it. It's got your different threads, right? It's got your quarter and your, uh, I think it's... Um, I'm not sure what what to there's two different threads that it has anyways but you can actually mount stuff on either one you know right throughout the whole thing and it's got an airy mount also as well not only here it has an airy mount also here on the top all right uh, so all of these things are are stuff that is really really excellent for you so let me uh, tighten this a little bit more all right and uh Okay, so we've got that tight. All right, so I just wanted to use this so that I could tighten that uh, uh, side, um, uh, that side cold shoe, uh, so that I can show you what I do with it. All right, so in the camera, what we want to do, all right, is uh, you know we just uh, uh, we we grab this little thing here, and this has little um, uh, little holes, okay, that you can actually. Um, Put this through and actually, you know, use it to to uh, give it a little bit a tighter uh, feel to it. All right. And so we're going to go this route and uh, we are going to mount it. I'm going to mount it on the hot shoe. Now, remember, I'm mounting it this way. So we're going to mount it this way. OK, and I'm going to uh, lock it really quick. I'm going to lock it here really quick. All right, we've got it nice and locked. All right, and I'm going to tighten it, okay, with this here. Okay, so now it is nice and tight. So I've got a handle that, as you can see, right, I can grab my camera. I can use low, uh, you know, low, low angles. I can uh, do all kinds of maneuvering. And the only thing this top handle is doing is holding the weight of the camera. And that is fine. That is absolutely 100% fine because the hot shoe on a camera is always able to hold your camera. As long as you don't have a super large lens. All right. Uh, don't don't think that you're going to be putting one of those uh, wildlife lenses, you know, and you're going to be able to carry it on a top handle and it's not going to uh, harm it, you know, sooner or later. It will. All right. Because, you know, it is not designed. The hot shoe is not designed to hold all that weight. As a matter of fact, all right, those bigger lenses for for wildlife, they come with a uh, an actual uh, different mounting so that your uh, mount, your, your lens mount doesn't break also. So now this is the first thing that I love to do with my, uh, with my camera. Now, 
for run and gun, all right, there's two things that you have to think about. Number one is the ability to be able to record constantly without running, you know, out of power. Now, on the X-T4, on my X-T4, the battery that comes on, this, on these cameras is phenomenal. And I do mean phenomenal because um, I have not gone through an actual um, recording to where my camera it actually uh i have to replace the battery you know the the battery is is really 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 good and that's a well, that's one positive thing on the xt4 those batteries are a great upgrade from the older uh smaller batteries which only uh lasted uh minimal and uh, you have to usually carry like three or four batteries to be able to do any kind of video so with that said all right the next thing that i'm talking about is audio okay i want to be able to get a good solid audio on my camera uh so in order to get a good solid audio uh, let me uh, uh uh take this and uh put it uh, how it should go all right all right so now we have the uh, the lens hood so in order to carry a good solid audio there's two type of audios you can use wireless and you can use something that is um, pretty much uh, hardwired, okay? The wireless that I use, I use the wireless go to, and the wireless go to is really good, all right? It is really, really good, and it gives me a very good, solid audio. The problem with, the, with any wireless, right, is the uh, length of time that you have to be able to record before it runs out of charge, right? And so, if you're looking at that perspective, right? If you're looking at that uh, uh, scenario, then you have to consider what it is that you want to do and how it is that you want to uh, address uh, that particular uh, situation. Now, what I do is I like to put a, an external microphone. I used to use the um, the road uh, wired, I mean the road uh, video mic, and I've used uh, the also the uh, road NTG microphones. But after I found this microphone on the internet, this is a very inexpensive microphone. All right, this is only a fifteen dollar microphone. But the difference is this is a condenser microphone. This is not a regular microphone like the radio, like the uh, uh, Rode Video Mic. The Rode Video Mic is not a condenser microphone, all right? This is, and it's only $15, and it actually sounds super, super great. Now, what I do, okay, is I would place on the side, okay, not not on the top, on the side, I would mount my microphone, as you can see here, all right? And what that does, if you see, right, it allows me to physically have this whole handle completely free to be able to grab my camera. It's not going, the, the microphone is not going to interfere, all right? My microphone is not going to interfere in any way, shape, or form, all right, on my movement of my hand to be able to move my camera. So uh, let, me, uh, let me plug it in for you so you can uh, uh, see what it looks like with all the uh, wires and all the stuff, you know, um, that uh, every uh, uh, camera gig, uh, a rig actually, uh, should have. And uh, let's put it here. And let me... Uh, uh, plug it up in here and this is what it looks like with your with your wires you see so you've got a very very solid very simple run and gun this is a simple run and gun you have good audio all right and if it's windy outside it, this particular microphone comes with a wonderful and a beautiful uh, uh wind muff uh, let me install it uh, this will probably take a little doing here uh, actually, let me uh, take it out, all right, and let me install it uh, in here. Here's the wind muff, okay, that it comes with. So I'm going to show you with the wind muff. 
Uh, this is the little wind muff, okay, that it comes with. So if you're if you're filming outdoors, you know, you want to be able to use some sort of a wind muff. Uh, regardless if it's windy or not, okay, always put on a wind muff uh, because it is going to help uh, in the audio, um, especially if it's a condenser microphone, because a condenser microphone is very, very, very sensitive, okay? It's very sensitive uh, because... Uh, it actually, it's, it's going to pick everything up. It's going to pick everything up, you know. Uh, that's the difference uh, between uh, a, uh, a regular, you know, a wired microphone and one that is condensed. A condensed is uh, super sensitive uh, and uh, super high-end. And uh, let me um, uh, put this, uh, so where's, uh, here we go. Okay. And uh, this is what your, uh, you know, with the, uh, it's called a dead cat, by the way. Uh, you know, and uh, this is what it's actually going to look. All right, so you have your um, your dead cat mounted on your uh, microphone, and uh, you've got your uh, nice uh, run gun. And uh, this is how I like to rig my system for a quick run and gun. So now, if I need to uh, record anything. You know, I actually, this is not something else that I do have. I have my strap because doing a strap, when you actually mount your strap on yourself, let me mount it really quick. Okay, when you mount your strap, you know, you're going to use your strap, you know, you're going to extend your strap like this. This will give you more stability. All right, a lot more stability. Now, if I don't want to use my strap and I'm doing something, uh, you know, with photography or something, just a quick uh, run and gun, I also mounted, okay, on the side, a hand grip as well. They're both mounted simultaneously and I can actually uh, grab it, you know what I'm saying? And it's not going to fall anywhere and I can take the strap out. It's not going to go anywhere because I've got my hand grip on it, you know what I'm saying? So, so it works really, really, really well. Uh, so, this is my simple and my most uh, used uh, setup, okay, that I use when I do run and gun. Everything else that I have is a little bit more sophisticated. In my next video, I will show you how I actually uh, do my setup for a remote live stream and that is a remote live stream uh using uh this uh camera and i'll show you how i do that and uh and then i'll also show you my more sophisticated um uh camera rig okay uh which i will actually build the whole camera you know with follow focus and everything else and with my matte boxes and everything and you will see the difference but this is the the heart okay and the most a used setup for filming because it gives you flexibility, it gives you light, and it gives you the ability to do both. If you want to do uh, photography or you need to take a photo, you can still use it okay for photo uh if you want to just do your video you can do it with your video it gives you the most flexibility and uh and this is only an idea for you guys you know uh there are many other ways that you can set up and you, you know you know your cameras i'm just showing you how i set my cameras up so that maybe uh it might give you other ideas as to how and uh, uh, how to be able to, 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 to set up your, your, your system. Now, notice that if I use this particular setup, as you see here with the microphone there on the side, it still leaves these two openings uh, for me, for the hot shoe to be able to mount my external monitor. And to mount my external monitor, I use one of these, all right? And I actually mount it right in front, right here. Okay, right there. Okay, as you can see there now. Okay, and I mount my monitor uh, right here. And uh, that will be on our next video. I'll show you how I do that. And I'll show you how I'll do uh, my uh, live streaming uh, with the uh, capture card and everything. Okay, so anyways, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed, okay, this uh, uh, quick uh, video. And uh, if you uh, want to see more videos, uh, please subscribe. And uh, we hope to see you uh, sh very soon on our next video. Uh, this is uh, Charles Richard. Go out, take your camera, 
have what you have know how to use it you know the trick about doing good video is knowing your gear better okay the better you know your gear okay the better your video will be all right so this is charles richard saying thank you so much and i'll see you on our next video